Moving on, the death toll from Typhoon Yagi in Myanmar has risen to at least 74. 89 people are still missing. Myanmar's junta chief made a rare request for foreign aid to cope with deadly floods that have displaced hundreds of thousands of people who have already endured three years of war. Floods and landslides have killed almost 300 people in Myanmar, Vietnam, Laos and Thailand in the wake of Typhoon Yagi, which dumped a colossal deluge of rain when it hit the region last weekend. In Myanmar, more than 235,000 people have been forced from their homes by floods. In Tuangu, residents paddled makeshift rafts on flood waters that reached the roofs of some buildings. Around 300 people are sheltering at a monastery on high ground in a nearby village. I am from Zifu Pian village of Tuangu. I came here with my cows because our village is submerged by the flood. I will go back when the water drops, but for now it is not possible to stay there. We are staying on a hill and are surrounded by water. We are trapped here and there are a lot of people here. No one has come to donate food yet. Outside another temple, Buddhist nuns in pink and orange robes waded through knee-deep water. I lost my rice, chickens and ducks. I don't care about the other belongings. Nothing else is more important than the lives of people and animals. If the water rises too high here, I will untie my cows and let them free. A military spokesperson said that the army had lost contact with some areas of the country and was investigating reports which said that dozens had been buried in landslides in a gold mining area in the central Mandalay region. He said 187 relief camps have been established for nearly 240,000 flood victims from 34 townships. Military trucks carried small rescue boats to flood-hit areas around the military-built capital. Myanmar was affected by Typhoon Yagi, which has also hit Vietnam, northern Thailand and Laos. The eastern and central regions of Myanmar have been facing several severe flooding and landslides since Wednesday. There are fears of the death toll that may rise sharply as local news outlets reported dozens missing in floods and landslides.